This video will show you how to comfortably and safely apply and remove your shoulder immobiliser sling. It is brought to you by two of our physiotherapists, Priya Nyani Kumaran and Joshua Bishop, our orthopaedic clinical nurse consultant, Megan White, and Dr. Deron Sher, one of our orthopaedic surgeons. The sling is designed to prevent shoulder rotation and helps minimise shoulder and elbow movement. It is universal, which means that it can be worn on either arm, so it doesn't matter if your left or right shoulder has been operated on. This type of sling, commonly referred to as a shoulder immobiliser, is used after shoulder surgery to offer support and protection for your shoulder. Sometimes this sling is also used following other upper limb surgery or for fracture treatment. The sling is made up of three parts. The shoulder strap, this points vertically up towards the head. Waist strap, this points around the body horizontally like a belt. Sleeve, cuff or pocket, this is what your forearm rests in. If you are not sure which strap is for the shoulder and which is for the waist, just look for the extra padding found on one of them only. The shoulder strap has extra padding where it sits against your neck to make it more comfortable. This extra pad is not found on the waist strap. The elevation of the arm can be easily adjusted by adjusting the Velcro fasteners. Generally, the arm should be in a comfortable position and the waist strap not too tight. This is the thumb strap which stops the sling from sliding off your arm. If you find that the sling is not sliding off your arm, then it is not necessary to keep your thumb in the strap. Generally speaking, the sling will be on your arm when you wake up from your operation. So we will start today by showing you how to remove the sling. We will then show you how to reapply it in a safe manner. Remove the sling by first undoing the waist strap. Next, undo the shoulder strap and then slide the sleeve of the sling off your arm. Keep your arm touching the side of your body while you do this and do not lift your arm up in the air. Later on in this video, we will show you how to clean your axilla or armpit in a way that does not activate the muscles of the shoulder. Now that the sling is off, we will show you how to dress and undress without moving your arm. You will find it easiest to wear front opening clothes. Always dress your operated arm first. Sit on the edge of a chair or stand with your arm hanging by your side. Slide your operated arm into the garment first using your unoperated arm. Do not assist with your operated arm, just let it hang loose. Once this arm is fully in the sleeve, bring the garment around your back and put the other arm in. Any fasteners must be fastened only with your unoperated arm. Once you have your shirt on, you can then place your arm back in the sling. In order to undress, you will need to remove the sling first. First, undo the waist strap. Next, undo the shoulder strap and then slide the sleeve of the sling off your arm. Keep your arm touching the side of your body while you do this and do not lift your arm up in the air. Button up shirts or zipper front garments are the easiest to apply and remove, but t-shirts and jumpers can be used if they are quite loose. The operated arm has the shirt applied to it first and removed from it last. First undo the buttons or zipper and then remove your good hand from the shirt. If you are wearing a t-shirt, the head part of the shirt comes out next and finally thread the shirt over the operated arm without moving the arm. Zipper front garments are easy to apply and remove. Pull the garment up and over the operated arm until it is sitting comfortably on the shoulder. With a button-up shirt, place the good arm into the sleeve and do up the buttons. If you are wearing a t-shirt, then after completing the operated arm, 
put your head through the head hole and lastly place the good arm into the t-shirt sleeve. A loose fitting t-shirt can also be used but is more difficult to apply and remove than an open front shirt. Now that you are dressed, you can reapply your sling. The easiest way to do this is to hold the top ring of the sling with your good arm and thread the hand of the operated arm through the gap or opening in the sling. Place your hand into the sleeve so that your thumb rests in the thumb strap. Gently press the thumb against your body to keep the sling in place while the good arm pulls the pocket of the sling up onto your elbow. Allow the elbow to rest comfortably in the sleeve, making sure the elbow is as far back into the closed end of the sling as possible. Your elbow will be at about 90 degrees. Hold on to the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap can be adjusted for your own comfort and bring it over and behind the operated shoulder. Feed it around your neck and onto your chest and fasten the strap to the round ring at the top of the sling. Secure the Velcro tab. Your arm is now safely held and supported by the sling. You will need to reach around your back to find the waist strap. Grab hold of it and bring it around your body a bit like a belt and fasten the strap to the ring at the bottom of the sling. Make sure the straps are not twisted or too tight. If you wish to place a cotton cloth or pad under your armpit, then loosen the waist strap and lean forward. Gravity will take your arm away from your body without activating your shoulder muscles. Place the pad in your armpit and stand up. When the arm moves back against the body, the pad will stay in place. The same technique is used in the shower to wash the armpit.